So today we're gonna to be talking about something that keeps popping up on my channel. Is the Division 2 dead? Look at these comments. Can you believe that people still play it? The game is dead. Game's dead, gone at this point. Why are people still playing this garbage game? People play this game. And I'm telling you, these are just five out of hundreds and hundreds of comments I consistently get on my channel, whether I'm releasing a video on this channel or one of my other channels. And I mean, I could go probably a month without releasing one Division 2 video. As soon as I cover news on it, these guys come out of nowhere and start talking about the Division, saying the game's dead, and so on. So I decided, well, this would be a good topic. And we'll be talking about a lot of reasons why the Division 2 isn't dead. And a lot of news we've been getting recently that you guys should be excited for because the Division is about to make a huge turnaround and I think a lot of you guys are going to want to hear this. So let's get into it. So if you guys haven't heard already, The Division has a novel coming out called The Recruited. And that is a Tom Clancy Division novel. Now that will be actually out in a few days. It comes out on February 1st, 2022. And then also The Division also has a Tom Clancy movie coming out, The Division. And it's going to be focused on the first movie, and will be releasing on Netflix and they should have already started filming or will be starting to film shortly. So yeah, two big things coming to The Division. And what does this really even mean? Why, why would I bring this up? Well, anytime there is a huge movie or even TV series that comes out for any type of video game, usually typically you see video game publishers want to capitalize on this, right? So they either release a download content, they release a new game, they release toys with it. And you saw this a lot with the Tomb Raider and you're currently seeing it with Uncharted, right? Because we know the new Uncharted movie is coming out. And what did they recently do for Uncharted? They did a remastered version for the PlayStation 5. This is a common practice with most video game publishers. And we're probably gonna see this with The Division. Now, a lot of you guys say, Come on, Skills, you're just making up stuff. There's no real facts behind this. Whoa. If you guys haven't watched Epic Slayer's newest video, he actually broke some news and reports on Ubisoft's official career hiring page. They're actually looking for senior level designer for the Tom Clancy. But where this really gets interesting is the job description. It says, now here's a chance to join our project, the Division 2 CN version, to work on a new summit design new mode, etc. Now the next part actually kind of specifies on what they really looking for. It says the level designer with senior level experience who can take the responsibility of designing a new game mode with the team. And then he also needs to be an expert at making PVP game maps, which can give advice to junior level designers. So it looks like not only are they looking for help on maybe redesigning the summit, but they're also looking specifically on a map designer for PVP to hopefully upgrade what conflict is or even maybe give us a better mode like we had in Division 1 last stand. Oh, but those aren't the only positions, right? Let's take a look at the other Division 2 positions they have. They're looking for a technical artist, senior level designer, which we read, senior lead programmer. They're looking for gameplay programmer. They're looking for a game designer slash weapon designer and a UI artist all for the Division 2, not a new Division, the Division 2. So for so many people to say this game is dead, it's not going anywhere, I think we have our answer right here. And I think this all leads to the big release of that Division movie with them adding all of this. But even with all this, I believe all these hires will really impact the game after this update. So you remember the update we were supposed to get in February that we're probably getting a little bit later on? I think these guys that are being hired probably won't have any impact on that update, but this is for future content going forward. And it all makes sense, right? With a huge movie going to release, expect it later this year or early next year, this will all line up perfectly for them. And with all this going on, even Red Storm got in the action. Now they had a big snowstorm in North Carolina and they decided to start posting some division stuff. They said the snow apocalypse is coming. We're ready. They even post a division one statue in the snow and it says mood. And this last post is really what caught my attention. It says, oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. 
since we have no place to go let's go rogue let's go rogue let's go rogue where do you want to go and usually red storm is known to really amp up their post when something is coming and i have a feeling that this has to do with the new game mode heartland they just it was the perfect timing they had a snowstorm coming to north carolina they can use that as a reason to post and in reality maybe they were just giving us a hint that heartland is coming sooner than later so it looks like we have a ton of stuff coming and whether it comes in the next month or two or it takes a little bit longer division two is not dead hey and even on my second channel i've been doing polls to kind of see where the community stands with what they would like to see look at some of these answers so i asked a question that talks about the division two and i said would you like to see the division two warlords map extended in the future and we had four thousand votes and 88 percent of the people said they would love to see the division warlords map extended and surprisingly there was a ton of people who said they did i even go ahead and ask would you like to see a new raid added to future content for the division two and 65 percent out of the 4,000 votes said yes they would like to see a new raid added to future division two content now i was surprised with the next question where i asked about weapon and gear i said would you like to see more gear or weapons added to the future of division two updates almost 4,000 votes and 59% said they would like to see more weapons than gear added to future updates, which was really surprised me. Now, this one was really shocking. This answer right here, I asked, what would you like to come out first? The Division 2 update slash DLC or the Division of Heartland standalone? And 80% out of the 5,500 votes said that they would like to see Division 2 update DLC, which really sh was shocking. I was surprised we didn't get more Division Heartland standalone, but I guess there's so many people that are invested into their characters, they wanna just keep growing that character instead of going over to a new standalone. Now, to get a sense of who actually was participating in these, I asked, when did you start playing the Division 2? Out of almost 6,500 votes, we had 72% say at launch, 18% said after Warlords, 5% said just three months ago, and then 5% said less than a month ago. So a little bit of everybody, but the majority were players who've been playing since launch. I decided to ask about the green gear sets because there are a ton that don't work. And I said, what green gear set do you think needs the most work? And surprisingly, 38% out of almost 4,000 votes says system corruption. The rest, 26% said the tip of the spear, which recently I created a build with it and it hits as hard as aces and eights. 11% said ongoing directive, 13% the rigor set, 12% said hardwire, but personally, I think ongoing directive needs the most work out of all of those. Now to get an idea of where everybody plays, I said, what division two platform do you play on? And out of 7,500 votes, 42% were on PlayStation, 33% on Xbox, 25% on PC, and we had 1% on Stadia. And for so many people who actually hate on this franchise, to see the answers to this next one, I was very surprised. Would you rather see a Division 2 DLC or Division 3 for next gen? 67% said they would rather see Division 3 for next gen than a Division 2 DLC. And that was almost 4,500 votes. And I personally, I would vote for Division 3 next gen. And the reason why is because I think once we go to next gen it's just going to improve what we have and just make it better for everybody for xbox playstation 5 and even pc players the game is just going to go to that next level so for everybody asking do you still play this game tell them yes you do because at the end of the day if you enjoy the game play what makes you happy and the division 2 is far from dead some big things are in the works and I think everybody will be very excited for the future of this game. We're going to wrap up the video here, guys. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the love. I'll see you in the next one. Long live the Division 2. Hey, nothing but skills out.